welcome to the London Royal Ravens. Hasim, Uli, Nasty, and Scraps. They hadn't won a series on land all year, but records are meant to be broken. Their 0-9 map count against the LA Thieves, so they intend to break that as well. It'll be behind Nasty and Asim, the slayers of this squad, and the role players to turn up in the search and destroy. Let's see if Scraps can give us a special blow to the LA Thieves. Envoy, Kenny, Draza, and Octane. The LA Thieves completed a challenge earlier today, and it's about dinner time. Our major four champs are looking to get a second ring on the year and haven't broken a sweat starting an elimination bracket round one, but to make it to tomorrow. Trap of consistently spawning the Ravens over towards Statue. And now with 21 seconds off the P1, they're gonna get that free rotation over towards P2. London here still contesting them. And we will get to watch the Thieves hold on to this rotation, as you said, for this upcoming hard point. The one thing that London did so well versus Boston on this map, Jay, was all about the break. Yeah. This team, a much different story. Comms on point. We know the qualifiers were not an accurate representation of the way that this team is going to play oh. as Kenny lights up to first wave of the Ravens clear. You already see Kenny's thinking a step ahead. He knows that it's final 35 seconds at the P2. We got to make sure we get those spawns for the next hill. He's going to set up the pitch, put himself to oh. the oh. oh, hello. Three. Ran out of bullets. A teammate <laughs> is going to be able to assist him in that situation. <laughs> And now LA Thieves not missing any opportunities. Four, uh, I didn't get a single kill, but at least you guys did. At the very least, his positioning on the map, as you said, now nets them the rotation over toward Fountain. Biggest thing of impact, though, is that two players from Thieves are not going to be here off the rip. So right now for London, you've got to make an impact nice and early. They get wiped away. Excellent rotation there from Kenny and the Thieves. And now take a look oh at that my. team spree. What is that 10 in a row as a roster? Steve starting to light things up as Ravens down to the end. Yeah, great work from the father-son duo there over toward the horse statue. You see Draws fall, Kenny instantly there to help pick things up. Oh, oh close hit. range, Guavo not missing shots. We have quite a few tacks out here from the Thieves. I believe it's all four players currently rocking that AR in hand, and really they're going to need it, especially getting out of a current spawn trap like this. So solid start for LAT, London break late, and now they're going to try to put the Thieves in a spawn trap. Yeah, and this is where London has to make that opportunity. They have to keep them in this trap as long as they possibly can and try to chain it over towards the P1. Scraps is on a four spree. Can he continue to start beaming? Already makes it five. He's looking for the final to earn himself that cruise missile. But London is starting to show life. It's still Scraps, the only player positive. But he's thinking more about that cruise missile because that can change the game. Yeah, understandably so, especially considering that Draza has obviously got one. We know that a few players from the Thieves have been on a nice run as of late. 60 point mark reached and you need to keep this one flowing. 15 seconds still to fight for. This is time that you need if you're Ravens, and it's time that you will get. As we said, first set of rotation looked very, very dire. Lead still very much so intact from the Thieves, but currently from London, you can tell that the fight is there. A few players starting to go on sprees. Scraps now at 29 in 18. The man is frying. It's just a matter of can the rest of the teammates join alongside of him to get a bit of slang, which then allows for you to reset 15 seconds remain over at the horse statue but everybody is prepared for new everybody is looking to maintain the far left side of the mini map and it's going to be a big battle in the back that is won by who other than maddie marshall scraps again with another influential fight ravens with map positioning but as we said they have got to make a sizable dent in that advantage right now yeah this has to be a clean two to three dead maintain your map control and put lat in a little bit of a spawn trap Nasty the soul man over towards the point. Finessing with the tack, he's able to find two. Let's get the trophy down. And let's be able to find a third as well. London, they're finding all the kills in the oh feed. It's word. starting to get scary. LA Thieves with only 35 seconds left. Need to try to flip these balls. Oh, and a seam. He snaps on another. Ravens beginning to erupt as they are now within about 30. A seam. Oh, he's feeling it. He's feeling it in front of the six. Points get stuck, but who cares? Momentum at their side. Octane beam from afar. London have got the rotation. 
Nation. And Nasty's one off for Cruz as well, but he does get taken out by Draza. The break comes in with only five seconds. So now if you are London, you set yourself up to potentially close it out over towards the stage hill. You're going to be the team here early. Oh. Azim is still slaying around the middle of the map. They're finding all the kills at the right time. London are bringing this back. Oh my god, Azim is on one. He just keeps getting naded, but when he dies, Nasty is there to pick up where he leaves off. We're about to witness a lead change. Ravens have fought back valiantly. Everybody going on sprees. Oh, oh, oh. And now it scraps his turn. Draza, last one alive, but he's able to find two. Back and forth we go. Thieves rush to the front. Now they've got the time. And they can win it here as well. So both teams have to know. We have to contest this down to, the, to win a trade. And they are able to find three kills in a row. It's only 15 oh. seconds until they take map one. Oh, and this is the perfect moment, right? This is the perfect moment for London. You have to break right now. Thieves have got everything going for them. They have to contest at least for a second. They managed to do so. Thieves cannot win it. It's all on player three. He falls. And with that, Thieves, this should be their game. Final few seconds inbound. And that will do it. Absolutely do. We'll see how it goes. First blood well, looks to go to the way of Envoy. Finally ends up finishing his food and inside of the mattress. I wouldn't recommend trying to eat on the floor. A nice little answer quickly. They're coming in from scraps, but it is headshots all the way around. A bomb plant that Envoy does not feel comfortable about, but it does not matter. My word, Asim, take it down emphatically, and now it is all on to Mr. Plumridge at 1v3. Yeah, Envoy must have got some kind of communication to stop committing towards the bomb plant, go for the child and win the one-on-one. -on -one. Now it's Nasty okay. left in the 1v3. He does find the first kill, but the trade is going to be in. LA Thieves, the aggressors. Envoy finds the first blood. He also finds- One tournament, it's been because of the search destroy performances. Envoy not able to check toward his left. Thankfully, Draza has also got that Vaznev out, so it equals out to a trade. And this is a scary sight. Whenever Draza whips out that SMG, we know he's playing a lot of SD A's back home. So he knows all the routes. He's not going to be worried about his timing. Great Ow. movement to get out with his life. But it's still a 3v2 scenario. Octane does invest that dead silence. But London, they're going to try to take down Draza. And Nasty loses that 1v1, 2v2 now. How is Draza even alive? Now it all comes down to him. What a life he has lived here in round number two. But does eventually hit the deck. And with that, another clutch. Game victory, Envoy with the read, not able to escape with his life. Thankfully for the Ravens, they do answer. Lots of early trades so far throughout this round. But Octane, the bullet, ends up dropping Nasty. And with that, it puts Thieves in a commanding 3v2. Yeah, Envoy right off the rip. He's able to get one and get all the information to where the pressure's coming in. So Octane lines it up with the snipe, finds that kill. And now it's a 3v2 with both players from London already investing in that dead silence. Octane gets that info. They're going to be sitting towards top party. How do they set up around it? Kenny's just pre in the window, takes down scraps. Now it's Yuli in a 1v3. Well, best of luck to the Rook. Kind of a similar situation to what we saw last round. Technically, bomb in hand. He has no dead silence. And right when he just comes away from the cover, he's got tack shots. He's got Vazdev. I think Octane might have even fired away a sniper bullet at him. Distance he's to be able to shut that one down. Kenny, patient as you'd like. It will pay off as Thieves answer first, and now it is up to Ravens here on the 3v4 retake. Yeah, London are going to decide to put pressure up through Keg Alley, but while they're doing that, Dross is doing it on the opposite side. He's able to take down a seam. Can he find Hello. another one? Dross knows the positioning of the final player as LA Thieves go back. Just getting that bomb down. That opens, it's a few arrows on the map, but it means all the difference. Another great round here for LAT is Kenny now on four. Thankfully, he has got the rest of the squad to handle the business. Draza, oh, SMG in hand, does eventually fall, and it's Yuli to answer back with two. And this is one of those man advantage situations where the LA Thieves just get a little bit over aggressive to try to take down this round super quick. And it comes back to bite them. Now it's a 2v2. Nasty gets the info onto where Octane is. The bomb is now going to be planted. Yuli and Nasty versus Kenny and Octane. How can they lock this down? Time continues to tick. Yuli looking for the reposition. Thankfully, he's had that dead silence. Watching both ways. Gets the audio cue on to Kenny. Also maintains his life. Yuli has done everything in this round. And now it is all on to Octane. Give him the ace. Give him the bomb plant. The Rook. Kent Draza 
Just picking up that information, or at least push it over towards this B point. Pull a couple players from London to the opposing side of the map. The time is still ticking, and Yuli's still gonna make the play happen. He finds another one, earns himself the crew. Oh, he's feeling Goes it. for the snap onto Octane, can't finish it though. I feel like if I'm one of the hardest teammates, I'm like, we're just setting you up, buddy. We're setting you up for success. Octane eventually able to find what? him, finds another as well. However, though, his teammate falls, so it is all on to Mr. LaRue. A 1v4, able to acquire the bomb, and it's got to go for a very quick plant because the London Royal Ravens are just right around the corner. And Octane, though, get out with his life. Just going to close that door. Nasty picks up the info. The Prince is going to be in. What can Octane do? Fires up a few bullets, has to back up. Thoughts, are somebody, is somebody oh, going to no. get the bomb? He finds another! Octane! Oh, oh, what a way! From the clutch of the tournament! It's intentional. A C, meanwhile, is going for a round. He spots Octane. Oh, shots are not good enough oh. to land, and he ends up paying for it. Kenny picking up for where Octane nearly left off. And Yuli firing. Now in a 2v3. Okay. 2v2. Yuli making it happen. He does get traded, so now it's scraps. Mr. Matty Marshall left in the 1v2. 30 seconds left on the clock with that bomb down through the middle of the map. Has a lot of ground to cover. Invested that dead silence. Takes top window control, but the child's about to be here. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling something's gonna happen. Here for scraps. Has to check his left. No, not gonna happen. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the poutine I had earlier, Jay. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Thieves. Able to find a very unique one. Yuli instantly for one. No, Again. he finds a second. Yuli, this man is a search and destroy mastermind. Eventually traded out, but he continues to breathe life into London. When it comes down to this search and destroy, a 3v2 that they desperately need, but it is versus Kenny and Octane. Tons of chemistry between these two, and you're already seeing it on display. Able to answer for two, and now we fall into a 1v1. 1v1. Nasty v Kenny. 40 seconds left. Kenny's just gonna make the play come to him. Gonna put that bomb down towards A. And Nasty has 45 seconds. He just pops that dead silence. What kind of info can he get? Where has Kenny gone? Kenny getting close to earning Daddy, but not there yet. As you said, Nasty rocking it to try to get a different position. So much riding on this round. Who's it gonna do? London lock things up here. We are about to find out as once more it is Ravens on the attack. Do we see that early first blood go their way? No, in fact, it's gonna be Draza. Hungry as you'd like. Octane ends up finding one in the back lines. So Thieves going for the rush. This is instantly Nasty left by himself. Nasty now left in a 1v4. He does take down one, but LA with the press. To the opening engagement. Who will find it on this occasion? So far in first bloods, it has favored the Thieves. Will it again? Envoy, aggressive! Oh, oh, oh. A perfect two-piece! As it's the instant pinch, and it is downright dominance in our last two rounds. Scraps doing his best job possible, but Thieves... Gone forward, and with that, they look to lock things up and get one minute added on to the game clock. And I don't know how long Kenny has not died for. He's been behind enemy lines the entirety of this map. He could potentially earn himself a cruise missile. 17 to 13 in lives remaining. LA, they're just trying to play these exit kills. But already, London find himself in a couple good positionings. Scraps in towards the main desk. This is a power spot. If you want to capture this B point, just got to hold this down, throw your snakes, get your trophies down. Because all of LAT, when they come off spawn, this is their main focus. Yeah, and Scraps pretty much acts like a reset point for the Thieves. Oh, he almost whoa. acts like a checkpoint here for London. Able to stay alive after some pesky shots coming through from Sam LaRue. Draza, oh, nice instant chow. Quick little read there on to Scraps, and with that, Jay, you're tossing up some, uh, some question marks for me. What's going on yeah, here on the He's still alive. He still hasn't oh. died. He found himself now with seven in a row. Nine and one to start off this control. Now that leaves the... To make it that much better, only two lives left. It is down to Scraps and Yuli. Ten seconds on the clock. Kenny finally dies after a uh, a wonderful four-minute life. Draws it there to clean things up. Final five seconds as we say goodbye to Yuli. Well, just a matter of time. There he falls. L.A.T. get the round. It was so funny, Jay. I was like, I was looking at you and I'm like, 
yeah, where are London right now? Like, they're not even making it past the 50-yard line. Reason for that is because of that man in the center of your... Is that the case for the... The reason why is because A is really easy to capture. You know London, they're going to decide to chalk it, especially when that second segment is given up. So, so thieves, they're just going to send every other player to play for those one-on-ones and catch a couple players all spawn. They're able to chain that. They're able to flip them to the opposite side of the map, and that would be an easy round. Right now, LA, with full men map control, they still do not have bedroom. They're trying to locate where Yuli is. That's the first guy they got to take down before they can apply fresher from the front. Where's the rookie hiding? Popping dead silence, hanging out. Eventually, it's going to be found. Wonderful work there from Mr. Hannon, as now the Thieves Brigade elects to start. Kenny for another, Art team for the third. Yeah. One man alive, and he is not going to be anywhere near. Scraps doing everything he can to tr toss a little bit of utility, but it's trophies down right now from the Thieves. They're emptying out the shelves, the cabinets. They've got plenty of trophies there in the Thieves camp. Two segments down and one more to go. Octane, nail in the coffin. Thieves now up to get him inside of their base. Scraps low on ammo, one bullet to his name, and now it's about the combat knife. We'll see what he can do with it. In the meantime, Kenny has got that cruise missile. Jay, he's bringing it in at the perfect time. Yeah, this is perfect. Kenny knows that his teammates just went three down. He's the guy with the cruise missile over towards bottom luggage. So you want to use that before you, you give up your positioning. And he stalls out enough time for his teammates to get into the play. Envoy pops three. Octane is now going to invest his cruise missile. And with 25 seconds remaining, London has to make something happen. It's got to be a miracle type of play. The Hail Mary now inbound here for the Ravens as Octane finds another kill in the middle of the map. It's a 9v8 in terms of lives. Snaking his heart out, wanting to see another W pop up on the board. Here it is. Ravens season right in front of us, and it all comes crashing down. The Tower of London. London surprised you in some aspects. Um, Honestly, London was, it was shooting pretty well, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but we started out pretty hot on the, on the fort. I feel like we got like a little overzealous and uh -huh. stopped like doing little fundamental, a little small things and kind of almost let it get out of hand. Uh, they got a few pieces every uh -huh. now and then. So it was kind of hard to like reel it back in yeah. until that like end of the game. But overall, I think London played pretty well, except for the control. But yeah, good match. Yeah. A little bit more of a, maybe a match you were expecting. This, this matchup it has happened before, and I don't think you've actually dropped a map to them before. Did they surprise you in this last major with anything on the S&D you weren't expecting? Wait, said again, London? Yeah. Oh, yeah. s and I mean, we obviously did our VOD a little bit before we could play that, before the match, but yeah. uh, they definitely did some new things and uh, won a couple 1v1s that probably should have gone our way. Um, and like I said, overall, they were shooting pretty well, so the 1v1s were big. Yeah, they certainly have had a, a better tournament than they have had previously, I can Agreed. say that for sure. Let's talk then about your run in the loser bracket. I know at this point it is difficult to be enthusiastic or overconfident yeah. because you know there is still a mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. Mentality-wise, obviously coming off the championship into yeah. this position, how has that affected you and the team? I mean, overall, we know how good we are on land. Uh -huh. So having an uh, opponent like Optic first round was huge for us. I feel like a lot of people like think we were scared but I feel like for us it was uh, a big match like we win that match 3-0 we're feeling super confident so no matter who we play I feel like a lot of teams are gonna be scared to drop down to us and play us and uh, just looking to keep staying hot and keep the momentum up yeah I mean don't get me wrong first round Optic Gaming uh, the fans of Optic are a little bit terrified of you <laughs> at this moment and it has become a meme right it, it yeah. is a meme and I wanted to ask you about it mm. obviously for yourself what is it about that matchup that maybe brings out the best in you and, yeah. and why has it become so well funny all the way through the CDL well I mean I feel like a lot of the times the big matches or the good ones versus them always happen on land. Yeah. I mean, overall, I feel like my team, like once again, I feel like our team is really good on land and we look forward to it. But I, I just like being like against it, like against the crowd. I like when the crowd <laughs> boos. So it kind of gets my adrenaline going. And uh, overall, I mean, I just, I just have a good series every time. I don't know why. It, there's no reason to it. I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> it it's fun playing them because they're a good team. And uh, overall, it's a battle every time. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to let you rest because you've got a thank long you. couple of days ahead of you. That was Kenny here on the main stage. Desk over to you to break down the game we just saw.